the rabbi of a small shtetl in Poland passes away. After a little time, a new rabbi is picked and he's serving. Meanwhile, all the yentas in the village are talking among themselves. We have to find a new husband for the late rabbi's wife. Actually, there's only one suitable man in the whole shtetl. He's the butcher Mendel. So they try to persuade the rabbi's, the late rabbi's wife, and finally she accepts, although she's a little reluctant. You see, the old rabbi was a Torah scholar, and the new husband is uh, a butcher. Um, he's not a man of great intellect. Well, they get married anyway. Very soon after the wedding, uh, it's a uh, Friday night, and uh, the butcher says to his new wife, I was always told by my mother that at the beginning of Shabbat, Friday night, it's important to make love. She says, well, okay, so they do it. After they come back from the service at the synagogue, he says, you know, according to my father, it's important to make love before dinner. She says, okay. As they go back down to sleep that night, he says, you know, my grandfather said that uh, on Friday night it's appropriate to have, to make love uh, because it's after all Friday night. She says, okay. The next morning he says, my aunt said with such a pretty wife, I surely should make love before we have breakfast. She says, okay. That morning, they go to synagogue for the Saturday morning service, and one of the yentas comes up to the new wife and says, uh, tell me, uh, how's life with your uh, new husband? Uh, I realize he's not as smart as uh, the rabbi had been. And the wife says, well, he's not truly an intellectual, but he comes from a very good family. <laughs>